Hello students. Today we are going to learn about gear terminology. So before we get into the, the terminology of the gear teeth, we have to know the different types of gear teeth or the profiles which are used for making these gear teeth. So we know already that gears are mainly used for transmission of power and motion. So we also know that gears consist of two parts that is the driving and the driven gear wheels. So if you want to have perfect or effective transmission of power or motion through the gears we have to see that these gears are made of perfect geometrical form. So we have to manufacture the gears precisely and should be measured accurately. So there are two profiles for making the gear teeth which are commonly used and they are involute profile and cycloid profile. So the first one that is the involute profile. So this involute profile is the most commonly used system for gearing today. In this profile that is the the profiles of the teeth are involutes of the circle. So the profile of the teeth will be involutes of the circle. So what is the involute of a circle? Here we can see that there is a curve produced and that is called as the involute curve which is mentioned here. So we can describe this or we can define this involute curve of a circle as the spiraling curve which is traced by the end of an imaginary taut string unwinding itself from the stationary circle called the base circle. So if this is the base circle and there is an imaginary taut, so the spiraling curve which is traced by the end of this imaginary taut string which is unwinding itself from this base circle is called as the involute of a circle. The involute profile can be defined as locus of a point on a straight line which rolls around a cylinder without slipping. So it can be defined as this profile can be defined as locus of a point on a straight line which can roll around a cylinder without slipping. This is the involute profile. The next one is the cycloid profile cycloidal profile. So it is defined as the curve which is traced by a point on the circumference of a circle which rolls without slipping on a fixed straight line. So it is a curve which is traced by a point on the circumference of a circle. Cycloid form and a curve can be traced by a point on the circumference of the circle which rolls without slipping on a fixed straight line. So this is the cycloidal profile. So cycloidal profile is generally used for some specialties like clocks. So this profile is used for clocks. So this is all about the profiles of the gear teeth.